and fossil hunting video out in West Virginia. Um, we are hunting for trilobites, brachiopods, and other uh, Devonian things. You see all here. All along there is all crinoid stems and pieces of brachiopod. Now, before you plan your own trip to here, what you want to have is a... Oh, dang it. You want to have a hammer and a chisel so that you can hammer at the rocks. You want to wear safety goggles because these things will spray splinters and you'll have a bad day. So let's see what this rock has to offer. Look at this. All along the rock here, this is all life. That was rocked here. See that? Little imprint of a shell? That. It's everywhere around this place. Spectacular. Hey guys, um, we are extracting a brachiopod. Right there. I hope this is cool. well, We're gonna, gonna clean off the, all this later. That is a beautiful brachiopod. And we actually found other stuff in here. One, two, I don't know what those are. We're gonna extract that and find out. This, this is an awesome find. This might rival my other brachiopods in there because unlike that, th those ones, this isn't broken. First, start with this one. This is a brachiopod. Nice size, looks about, you know, inch, inch and a half. That's a brachiopod. It's about 408 mil million years old. Um, this, uh, to me, is one of the best brachiopods that came from here. I kind of want to clean this bit off. Move on. This is what looks to be a piece of straight shelled nataloid, which is basically this long squid animal that was like, you know, invaded the Devonian seas. And this came from our second site we went to, which is also in West Virginia. This is a little bit younger, I think it's around like 380 something. These are all trilobites. This is my best. Looks to be the head of a trilobite. I don't think it's whole because his body would be showing. The only way it could be whole is if it's enrolled under, like that. But yeah, it's not enrolled. You know, there's some other pieces. That's like a tail right there. No. Um, this is looks to be like the head of a trilobite. Camera's really fuzzy right there. And yeah, that's these are all all these are from site two with the shale. This is the only trilobite we found in the limestone. It's right it's right there. Um this I'm not sure about. Looks like either a big hunk of coral, that's what I'm thinking. Or it might be just a lot of crinoid stems crossing. Yeah. Um, this looks like a crinoid stem right there. That's a crinoid. And again, these are like 400, 380 something million years old. These are a lot of crinoid stem fragments. They're all clustered up in this rock. And I kind of tried to break it open but there's nothing there which I don't get because there's so much here 